Now if you want to continue back to Tel Aviv, and you were saying that you were on the bus, and there was a bus of 10 people that appeared to be of Arab origin, and then with the soldiers and the policemen as well. Yes, so uh, the policemen don't stop, uh, uh, don't stop uh, take photo of us, mm -hmm. and uh, film us, film, record us. Yeah. Okay. They don't stop record us, but they don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. As soon as we go out from the flight, until we go out from the airport, right. they don't stop taking photo and film us. When we enter in a, like a hangar, like a, um, a garage, okay, a garage. Yes, yes, it was very. Uh, I was very afraid when I saw that. Believe me, I was very afraid. This is the first time that I was afraid. You know what? Because it looks. I'm sorry to say that, but it looks like Auschwitz. Oh wow! Yes, it was very frightening. So we were thinking maybe they will ask us to go on the wall and tak tak tak, like made the Nazi before. But no, they were just they just want I think to afraid us, and then uh, we pass from uh, room to room, and we enter uh, a room uh, where there is nothing, just uh, ch uh, chairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, th then there were uh, uh, 20, maybe 20 policemen, not mm -hmm. soldier, just policemen. And uh, they said to, uh, they come with uh, water, with a box of water, saying uh, if you want water you can take. I asked for smoke a but they refused. But I didn't stop uh, asking, but they still refused until we go back to the airport. Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, one and a half hours, and uh, while we were waiting, uh, there's uh, a man who come and ask to two person, so two of us mm -hmm. to come with him. I think we think that they start the interview. Okay. So I never see again the, these two person. Mm -hmm. I think they are in jail, but I, I don't. I don't have their name. The the ten, the other nine people that you were with in this room, do you know for sure if any of them were activists for Palestine as well? Some of them for sure they were activists. Okay. Because they they were with me uh, in the Gaza for the march. Oh okay. Yes, so I'm sure. And uh, others there were there were one old lady and I didn't know why she was there because she don't look to Arabic at all. She's blonde, she's I think around uh, 50 or 60 years, and uh, but her behavior was very strange. Oh. Yes, she didn't stop asking a lot of questions. Her behavior, yes, well, it was very strange. And uh, another guy, also, he made as if he was with us, and I didn't know if he was with us or not, but he made as if that he was in the same, sorry for the term, in the same sheet as us. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we uh, when we uh, get out from the airport, when they let us go, I ask him because he asked me, "Can I follow you to the station?" I said, uh, "But you don't know where I am going." And I said, "So tell me where where you are going." And then he said, "I'm going to Haifa to meet my wife because she's in Haifa for pilgrimage." First, they take two person, and after that, just one by one person. Uh, they take my friend first, and uh, because my friend, my friend said, uh, I don't know uh, where I am going. I'm just following my friend, and because uh, she know uh, I am tourist and she know the country, and she invited me to come with her to uh, visit all the country. So they called me to join uh, her for the interview, but they asked me to don't look at her. So we were back to back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, um, the man that interviewed me, he presented himself, but I am uh, so stupid because I didn't uh, remember his name, retain his name. Mm -hmm. But he said to me that he is from the interior ministry. Okay, and uh, he asked me what's the purpose of your trip, so I am tourist. Uh, but to become a military to, uh, to this country, so why, 
when you still need to visit. Yes, I took my friend with me for her to visit and also I got so much this country, so why I like to come here every year. And, uh, and also I got a boyfriend that it's finished with him, so I hope to see him again mm -hmm. and start to laugh thinking. I think he believed what I said. Mm -hmm. First, uh, about the boyfriend, I think he believed what I said. Okay. Then he asked me, uh, did you know something, did you hear or did you know something about uh, the manifestation this weekend? I said, which manifestation? Israeli or Palestinian manifestation? And he said, Palestinian manifestation. I said, no, I didn't hear. You sure? Yes, for sure I didn't hear anything about Palestinian manifestation. So then he asked me, how much did you take with you? I said, 400 euro. And then he asked my friend, who was in my bag? Mm -hmm. Okay. He asked her, how much do you take with uh, you? And she said, 600 uh, euro. We saw that it was a problem because the question that following was Did you take your credit card with you? And uh, yes, she take her credit card with her And then he started to talk in a group with uh, his collaborator mm -hmm. His collaborator, I think, is from the security of the airport I don't think he's from uh, the ministry of uh, the entire ministry And uh, then he said, don't you think that's uh, too much? And my friend has problems because she cannot speak uh, English. English is very bad. But there were an interpret. But I don't want her to to change or to interview or to say what she said in a different way. So I said, please, can I can I add something? I said yes. I said look, my friend, she's from Morocco. You know how uh, how uh, people from uh, how girls from uh, all uh, country of Maghreb uh, like uh, gold and uh, uh, jewelry of Israel as well as well known mm -hmm. and her mother asked her to like to uh, buy a lot of gold, like a lot of jewels mm -hmm. and uh, this is it. He laughed, mm -hmm. he laughed and uh, said uh, okay uh, now it's finished. Yes I think this was the last question. Okay, so you never told them at any point that you were going to Palestine? No, I didn't say that. And do you think that if you would have told her you were going to Palestine? No, for, for, sure, for sure no. For sure no. The way that he was talking to me was, was of course, if you are a tourist, you can enter. If you are not a tourist, we don't need you here. Okay. Ah, for sure, if I said that, I will not enter the country. For sure, there is a... Uh, and I don't have any... Yes, I doubt that. Uh, they, uh, the other people that were... That were the, the other people that were with us mm -hmm. uh, join us, but not everybody. All people that were really activists didn't come. Mm -hmm. That were really identified as activists, they didn't join us. We didn't see them anymore. Well, okay. Why did you choose not to tell them that you were going to Palestine? I chose that because uh, when we were in the, in the garage, all together, and we still make as if we don't know each other, but we were on the same sheet, so we can laugh together in front of the police. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, we start to exchange uh, food because I have a uh, muffin, or I have sweet, or I have chewing gum. So we start to exchange, and here we we start to talk mm -hmm. in a very discussion way, but we start to talk, and uh, we decide, uh, my friend, me, and uh, another activist. We decided to don't say the truth because we were like lost. We tried, you know, when we were in uh, Switzerland, in the voting gate, we tried to contact our, uh, our coordinator, but it was impossible. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know what we were going, what, what we were supposed to do. And also, from, from, uh, from uh, the situation at the airport, what we decided at first is that we go we all passed, otherwise we all say we all stay in the airport. Right. Okay? But this changed because one of them told me no, if you have your ticket you have to go. Right. Okay? So then when I was in the hangar, in the garage, what I, what should I do? Should I should, should I uh, follow what was decided in France? Mm -hmm. Or sh or should I follow my what I want right. in fact because now everything's changed. There was a problem in the community. Okay, after that you went to Israel, no problems. So from um, when uh, the other person joined us, they were uh, 
they were uh, with the policemen and everything. We took the bus together from the garage to the airport, to the real airport. Okay? We were, we were waiting there like uh, half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, and the uh, police girl come, give us back our passport with one rose. What? One rose, flower. You know the rose? Oh, yes. I've so we apologize, have a nice trip, well, have a nice, uh, yes, have a nice holiday, mm -hmm. enjoy your time in Israel. Okay. And we didn't have any problem to get our luggage, we didn't have any, uh, any, uh, you know, bad uh, thing from the police, from the authorities. We done, we did it since that time. Since we get the, the flower, we didn't have any problems. Well, everything was very easy, like we were in, a, in another airport in another country. Mm -hmm.